I'm saying is, who hasn't woken up with that morning after regret for biting out a guy named Joe's throat? <laughs> I know I have. Oh, hello, my name is Fu Manchu. Well, with that said, I mean, there's really not much else I can say, is there? Today's review will be on the following. Today's review will be on the McFarlane Toys, The Walking Dead, TV Series 8. And look, look, there's a little note there that says, I pick up toothpaste and toilet paper and a Rick Grimes. And I did! There he is! That's right, he was on my shopping list and I found him. And that is awesome! Check him out! And uh, as it says down here, it just says Rick, because now he's going by his first name, and apparently they don't like to write their last names anymore. So you have to make up a name for him. So we'll just say he looks a little grimy. So this is Rick Grimes. That's right. This figure looks amazing, and I was so happy to find him. Now, the day that I found him, there were actually two of them on the pegs. And Mr. Evil Cheese said in his review that, yeah, you have to be careful, because you might get one with a unibrow. Well, the other one that I put back majorly looked like it had a unibrow. So, uh, hopefully this one will look a, bit, look a little bit better when I look at it up close. So, here it is from the front of the package. Now, I say we look at the back of the package. Oh, look, it says get an apple, too. Now, here's the back of the package. And, uh, oh, crap. You know, I hate it how they make these, uh, these, uh, sideways, I guess. Okay, let's turn it over. So, here's the back of the package the right way, and it looks awesome. And I'm just kidding. I really do like how they've put the picture sideways, because a lot of toys nowadays have mainly this kind of stuff here. Just words and stuff, but they don't usually put pictures of all the other figures in the line. The McFarlane figures have been doing this since day one, and I think that is awesome. So you actually get to see what else is in the line, even the exclusives, because uh, as Mr. Evil Cheese has pointed out, Tyrese there is an exclusive, and the Carol there is an exclusive. Now... I really think this is a really awesome line. I think the figures are getting better and better sculpt-wise. This Rick looks amazing. Uh, I found the Bob, I found the Dale, and I found the Morgan. Now, I didn't pick up the Morgan because I already have the uh, two-pack. I was going to get him, but I ended up not getting him. And I'm actually kind of glad I didn't, in a way, because, uh, I, yeah, it would be better not to get the bloody one, but I like the bloody one. And then I found out recently that this normal one doesn't come with the hood down feature. You either have a hood up or you don't have a hood at all. I think that's kind of lame, man. It should have came with that hood down feature. I don't know. Because that hood down looks really good when you've got it resting on the uh, backpack. But anyway, here's the figures from the rest of the line. You got Bob Stuckey, you got Tyrese, you got Dale, you got Morgan, you got Eugene, you got Rick, and you got Carol. Now, when I was there, they had um, all of them except for Eugene. Now, I'm not counting the two exclusives of Tyrese and Carol. But they had everybody but Eugene, but they only had one Bob and they only had one Dale. And they had two Morgans and they had two Ricks. Now, I don't know how early I got there when they put them out on the pegs. But that's how I found them. So anyways, there's the back of the package. Now let's look at the front of the package one more time. Oh, look, Snake Eyes. So here's the front of the package for the very last time. And out of all of the figures, this is the one I wanted the most because I'm a big Rick fan. I mean, he's the main character, for crying out loud. But, but no, I really do like this character. And I think uh, I've bought, like, almost every Rick they've made except for that, plat uh, that plaid one that just recently came out because it's just a repaint of the one before it. But uh, we'll look at those here in a second. So anyways, here's the Rick for the very last time in the package. So I say we open it! So here's Rick fresh out of the package, and I have to say... He looks amazing. This figure is very stiff. There's no loose joints whatsoever, and I think that is awesome. And by far, this is probably the best Rick that they have made to date. This one just looks so good. Now, like I said, you have to be very careful about the paint job that you find, because um, as Mr. Evil Cheese pointed out in his review, you can get unlucky and get one with a unibrow because of that cut on his nose, which does, you know, if it's too high up, it can look like a unibrow. In fact, the first one I saw was like that, and I thought, why did they paint him like that? He doesn't have a, a unibrow. Andrew Lincoln is not known for having a unibrow, at least. But no, this looks amazing. I absolutely love it. And uh, a lot of people have pointed out in posts and stuff, why didn't they make it with the jacket zipped up? And I have to agree. I think that would have looked really good. I don't know. Uh, apparently, they like to uh, make figures of Rick where he looks slouchy. I don't know, because he's really skinny in real life, and they always make him look slouchy. But anyway, here he is looking amazing. This is a really, really cool figure, like I said. I love the way the jacket looks, the little buttons on the cuffs, everything. It looks so good. So let's look at him from behind, shall we? So here's Rick from behind, and he looks really, really good. I love his hair sculpt. That is amazing. If you look down here, you can see his little revolver holster there. Very cool indeed. And I love his cowboy boots. They just look so good. But yeah, this figure looks really good. The way his cuffs are open there, 
very awesome indeed. Now you're probably saying, hey, what did it come with? Well, it came with this machine gun. He also came with his uh, trusted revolver, and he also came with this red-handled machete, which made Mr. Ivochis very happy. Yeah, apparently he wanted one so bad he made his own. So anyways, let's look at Rick from the front one more time. So here's Rick up close one more time, and I think this figure just looks amazing. Like I said, this is probably the best Rick that they've ever made. I don't know, uh, maybe it's because he looks more like he does in the show. Well, he did, until he shaved. Why do you shave so fast, Rick? Did you know your figure was coming out? You know he did. You know he's like, ha I'm gonna shave. And then they won't have an updated figure. They'll have to go back to the old one, which doesn't look as good as this one. Ah, Andrew Lincoln, you are very cunning. But anyway, I say we look at him up close. Oh, what do you say? So here we go with a super-duper close-up look, and you can make out his little zipper there on his jacket. Look at the details on the belt. That is awesome. Like I've always said, I love that these are real scan figures, so this is just a 3D representation of, you know, Andrew Lincoln in costume standing there. That is so cool. So you get every little stitch, every little wrinkle, the little furry wool collar thing. Very cool indeed. Here's his beard for the very first time in figure form. Looking a little gray there. Over here you'll see his face and his eyebrows looking very cool. Let's see if we can turn him into the light a little bit better than that. Get over here, Andrew Lincoln. Stand still. Okay, let's see if we can look at him up close a little better there. Very cool indeed. Check him out. Now, like I said, that little cut there on the top part of his, the bridge of his nose there can connect with those eyebrows which can look very much like a unibrow, so be very careful when picking them out. You know, and if you only find one, you know, I guess get him if you still want the figure, because I would, but I think this looks amazing. I think this is a very, very cool figure indeed. Now, it might actually help if we could make out the details there, so I put him in the light a little bit better. Now, his eyes look really good. They're not all wonky or anything, so that's good. I know a couple of the ones I've gotten in the past, not Rick's, but just Walking Dead figures have had crazy eyes or something, so be very careful about that, too. This one, his complexion looks better, too. He's not quite as muddy looking as the last one that just came out. This is a very, very awesome figure indeed. Check him out. Like I said, I love his hair sculpt there. Very neat. You can see all the waves and curls in his hair. You can see his beard there. Very cool. Working our way down here, we will see his hand. You can make out his wedding ring, which is really painted really good. I think that's awesome. Let's see. Look at the design work on his cuffs there. Let's see. If we turn him here so we can look at his other hand, if we can... Without him falling over, you can see his machete right there. Very neat. It's a little fuzzy there, but at least you can make out a little bit of it. And then working our way down here, we will find his cowboy boots, which he's been wearing since the beginning, which you can't see because it's fuzzy. Let's see if we can pick them up here. Turn it here so you can see it. Yep, these are the trusted boots he's been wearing all along. So very cool indeed. It's going to need some tape or something on the front of them to make them look more worn for later seasons. That's like, do a Mad Max thing and have tape on the end of them, I guess. But that's very awesome indeed. Check out that machete. Very cool indeed. Now, I don't have all of the Ricks, but let's check this out. Here's a Series 1 Rick. Here's the re-release exclusive, courtesy of Mr. Evil Cheese. Here's another exclusive, I believe. This is the Captain Kirk exclusive, uh, <laughs> Rick Grimes. Aside from the plaid version of this figure that came out, here's the newest Rick Grimes, and this one was by far my favorite until this new one came out. So he goes from this to this, and I still say this one's probably the absolute best Rick Grimes you can get. It's only, it's too bad, though, that he shaved off his beard in the show, so now he's not quite up to date, but hey, he's still the best Rick you can get. So apparently, like a lot of you, I am suffering from Rick-itis. That's right, I can't stop buying Ricks. But they keep making them better, so hey, what can you say? You just gotta get the new ones. These are amazing. So there's my very sloppy review of the Series 8 McFarlane Toys The Walking Dead Rick Grimes figure. Or as advertised, just Rick. Yeah, this is a really, really cool figure, and I have to say, if you see it, get it. Because if you're a Rick fan or a Walking Dead fan, you have to have this one, because it's probably the best Rick they've ever made. So, until next time, watch Solid Dave Snake's review of this thing, or freaking Mr. Evil Cheese's review. Not mine. My, my reviews are horrible. I, that's not a very good review. Look at him. But anyways, nah, tune in for more. <laughs> Forgot what I was going to say there. Foo reviews. <laughs> Come on, Fuzzbug. Come on.
Come on, come on. Oh, what is this? What the? Oh, Abraham, you idiot. You Don't be leaving notes like that around my stupid white world.